Hi guys! So today I thought I would do a chatty get ready with me video uh, just so I could catch up with you guys. It's been a while I think since I've posted a video and so I thought it'd be cool to just sit down and chit chat and all that good stuff. If this background looks familiar to you but also unfamiliar it's because I'm staying at Karen's while she's in Hong Kong. I'm house sitting and dog sitting hero for her and Leo while they're gone. Um, and I've kind of moved here. <laughs> Not into Karen's apartment, but I've moved to LA. Sorry, there's like a plane or something going through. But yeah, let's just get started because it's gonna take me a while. And also I have this really bad pimple. It's been growing for a few days, but I popped it. So why did I move here? Well, it kind of started with our friends Ivan and James. They work at Nidra Van Salon and they were looking for a receptionist slash coordinator part-time and I thought I could work there, why not? And it just seemed like a good opportunity to come to LA and focus on creating content and not being stuck at home. You know, I thought about it for as much as I could and there really was no big reason not to come. I think I'm very lucky to have family who support me in this and Honestly, I, I just, I didn't know what to expect from my family, you know, if they would be okay with it or not. Um, luckily, they they are. So yeah, the worst thing that could happen is that I go back home. It seemed like a risk that I was willing to take, that would be okay to take. So I'm here. I do work part-time at the salon. It's about 20 hours a week. And then the other days, like today, I'll be filming and working on content and just exploring different avenues of uh, what I want to do creatively still hasn't fully hit me that I'm here. I think I don't know I'm still getting a hang of things. It was definitely very hard uh, The first few days it still is I'm still adjusting I think I haven't even been here a full week and like the first second or third day I was already kind of feeling a lot of anxiety about the decision that I made to come here and what I was doing here because my life is so different now from what it used to be. The night before I was driving down here, I had dinner with my parents and they were just so supportive. Like, <laughs> it makes me so emotional thinking about how supportive they were and I, I wouldn't have felt that if I didn't leave. It, it was such a great feeling to have. My mom was like, you know, if things don't work out, you can always come home. <laughs> Why am I getting so emotional? It's just coming from an Asian family, you don't really hear things like that very often. So to, to hear that coming, especially from my mom, it, it meant a lot. And I felt very loved and appreciated in that moment. And I think it just makes me, yeah, it makes me very emotional, as you can see. I was really sad to leave home, like a lot sadder than I thought I would be. I was so scared to make a decision of my own for once. You know, I was praying about it, and in that moment, I realized, like, this is such a blessing to be sad to leave home. That means I had so much love here, such great support for my family and friends. Really a blessing to be sad to be leaving onto the next day. Then I didn't get so sad anymore. I was more like, this is cool. <laughs> Okay, I'm really bad at talking and doing my makeup, so I'm gonna do my brows real quick and then I'll come back and finish chatting a little bit. Also, Karen got me really hooked on BTS. I am so obsessed, it's so bad. I wake up and the first thing I do is watch BTS videos that I've already seen or new ones that I haven't seen. And then before I go to sleep, I'll watch like a BTS video or two. <laughs> it's so bad, she got me so hooked on them. We tried to listen to other K-pop groups and it's just not the same, like I couldn't get hooked on them. Ugh, they're so good, I'm so obsessed. My bias is definitely Jungkook. I think he's so cute. I'm so obsessed with two covers that he did. One of them is Adam Levine's Lost Stars and the other one is Tori Kelly's Paper Hearts. I love those songs. I'm so obsessed with those songs so when I found out he did covers of those I for sure was like yes he is my favorite. I, I love them all. Like I think they're all really funny and really cute in their own ways and very unique. Yeah it's pretty bad. I was not expecting that. I never thought I would like K-pop. Well, that's like the best I can do with my eyebrows for right now. 
Also, my hair looks lighter, doesn't it? From my last video, the clothing haul that I did, I don't know what happened. Um, in that video, I hadn't washed my hair yet um, because I had just gotten it done. And I guess after I washed it, all the color maybe just came out. I don't know, but this is fine too. I mean, I don't mind it. I like it. Okay, so for eyeshadow, I'm actually going to borrow Karen's... Um, Lorac Pro Palette. I hope you don't mind, Karen. So as I was saying earlier, when I made the decision to move, I had about two days to pack, and then the third day I was gonna head down. And in that two, three day span, I had so many emotions going on. At one point, I felt very selfish for leaving my family. I felt really guilty. Now I've come to realize that I do need to be a little bit selfish with myself and my time and do things that I want to do. I wouldn't have known how much they loved me if I didn't leave, so I think Honestly, distance makes the heart grow fonder. And since I've been here, I've definitely missed them quite a lot. And I realized how little I know and how hard it is to be on your own. Yeah, it's definitely a learning experience for me. And I'm glad I'm doing it. I think that's the first time I've said that since I've been here. Okay, I'm gonna do my eyeliner with my Kat Von D tattoo liner off camera because there's no way I can do this and hold a mirror at the same time. So I will be right back. Okay, back to BTS really quickly. Do you guys listen to them? If you do, what's your favorite song and who's your favorite member? I'm still learning all the like K-pop lingo, so sorry that I'm such a noob at it, but tell me who your bias is. I think my ultimate favorite song, oh, there's so many good ones, but Just One Day, I know it's from more of their older stuff, but that was like a really big favorite of, like I really liked that one when I heard it. I got way too much powder on this beauty blender. <laughs> Oops. My trusty Maybelline Falsies. I love this one. I'm gonna go into this NYX palette to get this bronzer color. I'm going to use my favorite Coralista blush. Time for highlight. I'm just gonna use this gold one from Ofra. It's called Rodeo Drive. And finally, some lip color. I think I'll just do this color. It's Pony Effect on Fleek. Mm. So this is the final makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me and doing this little chit chat. I just really wanted to sit down and chat with you guys and give you an update of what's been happening over the last few weeks and why I haven't really been active on all my socials and whatnot. I think I really need a time to adjust to this new environment because it's completely different for me. I think I'm ready to put myself out there more and stop living in my little shell of a home. I was so comfortable at home. I wasn't really feeling a drive or motivation and now that I'm here, I'm ready hopefully i mean i don't i hope i hope that this motivation continues because i definitely have my ups and downs but i'm really going to work hard to create content and force myself and push myself to think creatively and create stories that i want to tell and that i don't know i i don't know but i i'm really excited about this and i hope you guys like that update and again if you listen to bts tell me everything and if you don't you should go check them out because they are everything to me right now Ugh, they're so good okay well that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and um if you did please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos from me then please subscribe what else i guess that's it um all right bye guys